Hello, Providence hockey fans. Welcome to this week in Friars Hockey. I'm Nick Rojas. After a tie up at Boston University on Friday night, the Friars returned to the win column after a wild, and I mean wild, contest Saturday against the Terriers. The Friars now have a top 15 matchup with the Northeastern Huskies this weekend. On today's edition of the show, we are joined by Michael Lackey to talk about his transition to Friartown. Plus, Coach Lehman joins us to discuss the freshman scoring this weekend. This week in Friars Hockey starts right now. We're joined now, as we are every week, with the head coach of the men's ice hockey team, Coach Lehman. Coach, this past weekend, Saturday night, you get a win, you get in the win column. What'd your team do in the third period to protect the lead that maybe the team wasn't doing in the previous few weeks? Well, I mean, I, I think, uh, well, we outchanced them 7-2 in the third, which was, we played one of our best third periods of the year. Uh, the score was 1-1, but, uh, but, you know, I think the big thing is we worked. Um, we kept attacking the whole time. We had poise coming out of our end uh, on our breakouts, so we didn't turn a lot of pucks over. But I, I just like how we kept attacking. I thought we could have gotten three or four goals that period, but um, you know, bottom line, we uh, we were able to get what you know get the job done. Now, this past weekend, your freshmen scored quite a bit. You had four different freshmen scoring. Two of them scoring their first collegiate goal, Jamie Engelbert and Max Crozier. I have to imagine for you seeing the freshman score, and not only score, but in those tight situations and sometimes winning those puck battles in front of the net. I'm sure that's a thing you like to see. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're a lot of our scoring is coming from freshmen and sophomores this year. Um, so, I mean, we're young, but but the guys are getting the job done in, in the opportunities they're given. So it was nice of Jamie to step up and score there. Great hands around the net. Uh, Max finally got rewarded. I mean, he's had some really good looks this year, and, and it hasn't gone in for him, but those pucks went in for him, which was nice. And um, yeah, I mean, the, the second night, you know, of our six goals, four of them were freshmen. So um, it's a good sign, but we, you know, in the lineup, I still want to build better depth on our third and fourth line for scoring. And coach, your power play unit is towards the top in the nation. It's in the top in the conference. What's been the key for that unit this season? Well, I mean, it circles around Jack. I mean, there's there's no hiding that. Um, you know, he's got great vision. He can he can kind of make any play that there is to make. But I think it's, you know, if we were just about Jack, I think people could sit on that. And um, the teams that have tried to do that, we've also been able to use different options, whether it was Princey in the net front or whether it was Tice and Cali. Um, you know, Mike Callahan is now in the top two or three in, in points by defensemen in the country. And, and I think a lot of it stems from that power play. So um, we're really happy with the way things have gone. Give full credit to Coach Ralston. He's coaching it and um, keeping them ahead of, uh, ahead of the curve, basically ahead of what we think kills are going to do and, um, and being, you know, pretty versatile. And lastly, Coach Northeastern coming to town for a home and home this weekend. What can fans expect from that matchup? Well, it'd be a, you know it'd be a different matchup than BU. BU is always a little bit more physical, but they're a good skating team, good stick skill. Um, you know, I, I they typically like to play an up and down game, so it's fast hockey. And you know, we're we're uh, we've had some success against them the past two or three years, but it's because uh, of you know our style has has been really to make sure that 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 we played our identity in those games. All right, Coach, thank you for your time. Good luck this weekend. Thanks, Zach. We're joined now by starting graduate goaltender Michael Lackey. Michael, you transfer over from Harvard. You come right to Providence, and immediately you're starting in the lineup. What's the transition been like for you? It's been relatively smooth. We had a lot of guys here this summer, so I got to know most of the team then. So it's been relatively easy coming in. I imagine that has to help. And coaches come on the show pretty much every weekend and has been singing your praises about how you set the tone early for your team. What's your pregame prep preparation like? Yeah, I usually play uh, like soccer with a couple of the guys, then go off you know, by myself, visualize, do some tennis ball warm-ups. Now, I know a lot of guys are, are music guys. Are you listening to music at all, or are you just absolute silence? Yeah, a little bit of Eminem, you know, yeah. some rap, yeah. Nothing like it. He gets uh, the Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then last question for us. You come over from Cambridge to Providence. What are the big differences between the two cities? Yeah, so I think the biggest difference is Harvard was in Harvard Square, so you're kind of in a town. And Providence, you know, you're you're in your own secluded area, which has its definite perks. Um, you know, it's good. I think you get to know a lot of kids in your class and at the school a lot more. 
Well, we're very glad that you're here in Providence and we wish you the best of luck the rest yeah. of the season. Appreciate it. Hi, I'm Jamie Engelbert from Whippy, Ontario, and I'm a freshman. My favorite dessert is actually like a combination of like ice cream and co uh, cookie. It's called a, a panuki or something like that. You get like a warm cookie and like throw vanilla ice cream on top. It's unreal. It kind of felt right. Uh, I didn't get my uh, number I grew up with, but drifted towards 18, it just kind of felt natural. Uh, I think it was Spider-Man Into the Multiverse. Good, good movie. <laughs> Probably my Uncle Rob. He uh, has been a big influence on me growing up and what I do in my hockey choices. I guess walk my dog or uh, I guess in high school play a lot of high school lacrosse, so I was big on that. It's a great atmosphere. I think uh, anyone steps in this building, they know it's going to be loud and it's going to be incredible to play for. So I think it was the obvious choice. For a breakdown on the matchup with the Howling Huskies, we send it over to Mike DeMars. Mike? Thanks, Nick. This weekend, the Friars will have a home and home series with the Northeastern Huskies. The action starts Friday night at Schneider Arena before moving to Matthews Arena on Saturday. The Huskies come to town with a 5-3-2 overall record and 2-2-1 two, two, and one count in Hockey East. There have been no signs of a sophomore slump for Northeastern's Tyler Madden as the Florida native has already notched 10 points in his first 10 games this year. Helping Madden on the offensive end for the Huskies is fellow Floridian Zach Solo. The junior forward has one goal to go along with seven assists. Mining the net for Northeastern is graduate student Craig Pantano. After transferring from Merrimack, Pantano has a 1.84 goals against average and a 9.32 save percentage. Last season, the Friars beat the Huskies in both of their matchups by a combined score of 7-1. That's your weekend preview. Sending it back to you, Nick. Thanks, Mike. That'll just about wrap up today's edition of the show. A big thank you, as always, to our guests, Michael Lackey and Coach Lehman. Friday night's game is here at Shine Arena for the top 15 matchup between the Friars and the Huskies. Tickets start at only $20. Saturday night's game is up at Matthews Arena. That one starts at 8 p.m. For info on how to watch both these games, head to Friars.com and also watch on CBS All Access. Of course, you can listen to both games on 104.7 FM News Radio. If you haven't done so already, follow the team on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching this week of Friars Hockey. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.